The category. Worst influencer boxing match moment. Matt Watson versus Dad. This one's so good because of the aftermath. That was a bad one. With Joe Rogan when he... he, That's your son. There it is. And we're watching you beat your son up. Because I get your son probably got cocky with you, but... Foosie versus Deji. Oh, I was there for this one. I lived for that. I lived for that. Poor Foosie, man. I live for that. Taylor headbutts opponent. Real oh, ugly, dude. Oh, Real oh, ugly. Oh. Not cool, dude. <laughs> what are you, trying, fuck what you, are you trying to do? Dr. Dr. Mike pretends to touch gloves. Oh, this was real dirty. I dubs. Dr. Mike is definitely Super bad manner. You see that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't like that. Dr. Mike is scum, dude. It's not illegal, but it's just bad. Knocked bad down five shit, times yeah. before the match is stopped. Yes, Chris! Yes! Oh, this we Wait, watched uh, in New York at 4 a.m. and I, I loved every second. This was a great fight, actually. I was super yeah. keen off to get back to And Gib got dropped. That was yeah. such a good. I was playing a drinking game. Every time he got hit, I took a shot. I don't remember. It was night. You guys are the perfect. Uh, you guys are the perfect co-host. <laughs> I'm serious. I think you took the bottle away from me. You were like, stop. Yeah, You're blacked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun. We were in New York yeah. for Fashion Week around that time, and yeah, you were. Very fun drinking. Going to a lot of fashion shows. Yeah, she was going to a lot of fashion shows. Yeah, I see that. I was in my hotel room watching that uh, while she was out at all these fashion shows. All I was right. in, in my hotel watching a YouTuber boxing match. Was it really fashion shows? You're saying it like it was something else. It does kind of sound yeah, like some underground like, New York yeah. cartel drug shit. Yeah. Well, no, no was... she went to the box, which is a club that the performers shit into their hands and throw it at the audience. You went. Oh, that's odd. I, he was there. <laughs> I, you dragged me there, yes. yes. One of those nights. Uh, oh, well, that... But the highlight was the boxing match. Little after party we had viewing that. It was good. Well, Tana, was do we us were the... a celebrity, a big time A-list celeb. You know, we won't say, but we can drop. Are you, are you, you trying know? to name drop? No, 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 no. What happened? We can't we get into it. We made a very you, you, important you, celebrity join us to watch that Austin McBride. Oh, he fight, sat with you? Which was, with you? They which sat was very, with you? yeah. So who? So give me a hint. What are we dealing? What are we talking about? Like you what gender? Her, right? What gender? A boy. Um, uh, a male. Yeah. Cis male. <laughs> Actor. Um, Joker. A funny man. Yeah. Cis male funny man. Played played the Joker. One of the one Leonardo of the ones. DiCaprio. Jared Leto. We made him watch Austin McBroom. You guys hung out, out with Jared Leto. Either him or Jack Nicholson. He's a weirdo, right? That, it was just one, iconic, one, like yeah, sitting there. Not here. Watching yeah. Jared Leto watch Austin McBroom get knocked out. That's so interesting. Was life. he confused by that? What, what was Honestly, no. He was like He's a big it. fight fan. Big fight fan. Are you guys still in touch with Jared? Should we give him a No. Run? No. I mean, not, not, no bad blood, but he was just with another uh, one of our friends. So. I see, I see. Worst influencer boxing match moment. Well, name drop. Yeah, you know? I love that. Good love opportunity. Yeah. He has a cult. You guys are aware of that? being a woman, you know, it's like... Uh, it's no, Tana, stop it. I'm not aware of it. I have heard of some stuff, but I'll ask him next time we're watching the next Austin McBroom fight. Yeah. What's the deal with that cult stuff? Hey, he's a weird guy, man, that Jared Leto. He's got a cult. They do retreats. It's all women. Sounds I mean, sick. Sounds like good. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Maybe, you, maybe you'd be interested in maybe that. Maybe I'll get the invite. You know, yeah. we could yeah. go out there. If I fall off, I think I'm he straight. he only right. allows one guy, him. So, does he? I don't think you get the invite. Oh, I, I don't know. We're pretty, much. we're pretty tight. Maybe he'll allow. You me are there. handsome. Maybe, maybe, depending on how handsome of a man he is. You know, he was the guy that Christian Bale killed in American Psycho. Did you know that he was Paul Allen? I did not know that. That oh my god. Act. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that now. I, I guess I remember that. Crazy, right? That he's yeah. been doing it for a long yeah, he's time. Been around. He's he won an Academy it. Award. Yeah, incredible. I, I still don't really understand. Incredible, but let's stick <laughs> to the topics Joker, here because we could talk about Jared Leto all day. The winners please, Tana. I'm, I'm, very, I'm horribly uh, apologetic for no, talking over it. you. I think Jeff just had to get a little name drop out. <laughs> yeah, and we love that. That was you. That was all you. <laughs> Worst influencer boxing match moment. The winner is Dr. Mike pretends to touch Oh! That, you know what? Shocking. You know what? There was a lot of competition this year. Yeah. And I'm super happy because I thought that was just so scummy what he did. And, yeah. and I love to see that. And these are all, it's a, it's a pretty even, like, you know what I mean? Matt versus dad was 22.3%. Okay. Austin McBroom knocked something. I can't read that. 21.7%. Oh, wow. Wow. Fousey versus Deji was 16.5%. 
Ryan Taylor was 12. And how much did I the winner get? The winner, it was a real tight race. Only 27% second place at 22%. Oh my goodness. Did you take that out of my hands? Because Wait, women wait a second. Race? He did snag that. Tor yeah. Oh, and I Austin McGroom picked. right behind with only 1% lower in third. Wow, this was a super tight yeah, race. That's our closest no, race yet. Matt versus Dad is just so funny because the aftermath with Joe Rogan. Fousey versus Deji. I don't know if you guys have the same YouTube suggested videos that I get, but I get a lot of the ones that say um, boxing before and after, like gone bad or something. <laughs> right. So it's all the stuff of Fousey, like, I got in this great shape worthless. for this, <clears throat> and his body looked incredible. And then he got beat up by this pudgy kid. He did look good. You know, so that one is pretty good, too. I by see way, why it's such a tight competition here. Interestingly, Fusi also won Creator of the Year at this at the streamies. <laughs> did he? Yeah, and, and he gave this iconic speech. Oh, I felt worthless. This is gold. So I felt way. ugly. I felt gay. I felt that no, uh, th like, that, that's what <laughs> no, they told no. me. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to catch himself. And that aired on the streaming? Oh, yeah. He went, I, and then they cut to Lily's, yeah, Lily Singh's face, because I think she's bi or lesbian. Yeah. So he goes, I felt gay, and then they cut to Lily Singh's. Awesome. Do you think he prepared that speech? Because it sounds like he was almost reading it off a teleprompter, and then... I don't think that would have been on the top. That's yeah, that's no, but would no, do though, like yeah. write out a speech he, that horrible and be like, okay. "This is dope." Fuzzy and then is the type of guy that always has a speech prepared. Well, he's not used to uh, faking. Uh, I'm trying to work the fake pranks angle. It's not super. Elegant. Well, he so he's always got a speech prepared. Like even after the fight, he had a great losing speech. Okay. So he probably went in there like, "I'm gonna have this great winning speech wow. if I win. This great losing speech." And then I saw him after, and I was like, yo, that was a great speech that you gave after you lost. Because I couldn't say anything about the fight, so it wasn't really <laughs> anything. But the speech about, you know, how we, all the people that were going to uh, unalive themselves and that didn't because of his body transformation. I do appreciate nice. that. <laughs> yeah, so that was cool. I didn't kill myself because Fousey Tube so got, got in abs. great shape. <laughs> you know what? You discount that, Tana, but I'm no, sure no, Fousey's abs saved lives. Mine. Yeah, it's a <laughs> testament. You know what I mean? I was gonna like, and I was like, nah, he's ripped, bro. I got you to live for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we love that. Yeah. Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up.